what is the next logical step? And it's almost, I almost laugh saying that because what is logic in a fake business? The generation of wrestlers you have now, okay? They grew up in the video game era. And they sat there and they played video game, wrestling video games, okay? They did not sit there and watch Lou Albano and the Grand Wizard of Wrestling and superstar Billy Graham. They didn't see any of that. All they're thinking about is that, what, what's the next move? They're taking their character and throwing it right out the window. When I'm sitting down and writing the show, I've got to put myself in the shoes of every single wrestler on the show. What would Steve Austin do if this happened to him? How would The Rock react if this happened to him? And, and, and it's different for every single wrestler. The ring technicians and the best wrestlers and the best workers were always the ones that needed pretty much every single word scripted for them. You cannot tell this story without Hall, Nash, and Hulk Hogan. Those three, whatever the cost is, whatever the headache is, you can't tell this story and get any benefit whatsoever without these three guys. I would go as far as to say, if you don't have these three guys, don't do the story. P you know, people want real, they still want real, you know? What should have been based on real and reality, the titles have absolutely nothing to do with this story. Nothing. The, the titles make the story fake. It's not a wrestling angle, okay? Now, it turned into a wrestling angle, and that's why it failed, and that's why it was horrible, and that's why it sucked. When you start talking about belts and champions and guys coming in with the ties, this and that, you have now turned a angle that is very real into a wrestling angle. Right there, you, you lost me now. Presented this way would have been the highest rated episode in the history of Monday Night Raw. Hands down, without a shadow of doubt. Week one, Scott Hall wants his job back. Now, why this would have worked beautifully is because Vince McMahon is an absolute egomaniac. God bless him, okay? And now is Vince's opportunity to now have Scott Hall right where he wants him, Okay, and let me tell you something. I was there when Scott and, and, and Kevin made the jump. And it was a pretty big freaking deal. No, you've got to have talent come out, security, the whole nine yards, and Vince, I got this. I, 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 and, and it's what Vince would do. I got this, I got this, back off. Phenomenal, okay? Now, you've already trained the viewer to who's coming next. Hall, Nash, and Hogan weren't the most popular guys in the WCW locker room, okay? Let Booker come out and talk about that. Eric knows that. He already knows that. He already knows how many years Booker was held down because of guys like this. Are the other talent, the other champions there, beginning to address Scott and Kevin and Hogan at all saying, Vince, let him come in. Oh, yeah, get to it. That's a wrestling angle. The history of Sting and Eric never getting along. Now Eric's going to Sting. There's so much history there that they never used, which, which was a crying shame. Are these guys we're going to offer jobs to, or do what we do really mean, not like, need I, them? I don't understand. What, like, what, why, why are you... What, why are you so eager to give money away and pay everybody when you, wh explain that to me. We don't need anybody here. <laughs> Turn this over. We don't need anybody else right now. Your rating is up to an 8.0. You've got everybody and their mother watching the show, sitting at the edge of the seat, and you want to bring it on Anderson. Vince now personally 
is going to take care of this. Doesn't want any help from any of the talent in the back. Tells Austin Angle, you know, uh, Rock, you come near that ring, I'll fire you guys on the spot. Who do we see? And Vince stops like a deer in the headlights, the last person he expected to see. I'm the Swerve King. You and are? I, and I'll, I'll, I'll go to my grave being the Swerve King other than the boring BS that's out there now.